This is uh, not showing you how to um, solve a uh, law of sines or law of cosines problem or anything like that. This is just showing well how how in the world do you plug those into your um, into your TI Inspire CX. Well, if I have um, inverse cosine of like five cosine thirty degrees over seven, for example, um, I have to go into my my document here, and if I down arrow to settings and status, went a little bit too far, and then I right arrow over, you see there's document settings. So I'll down arrow to that, and I press enter. The enter I'm referring to is right here. So press enter. This will pop up. And, um, I want to down arrow to the second one. See, it says radians. I'm going to press my right arrow key. And then I'll do my down arrow key to highlight degree. And I'll push enter. <coughs> now change it to degree. Now I want to choose make default down there. So I'm going to down arrow. And right arrow. Until make defaults uh, highlighted. And then I'll push enter. It says play settings this scratch pad and save them as default for whatever that says. Um, has default for new documents and scratch pad. And I'll go ahead and um, I can push this to choose the OK. Like that. Okay, so now we're in degrees. Okay, now like where where in the world is um inverse cosine? Uh, that's also referred to as arc cosine. So if I come down here I got my um, little book here. If I click the book, that'll bring up the library. And um, your first one lists all the different uh, different options. I think it should probably be up here, though. At the very top. Whatever the top might be. Maybe it's that one, if I had to guess, the ABS. So to get to that, you're going to down arrow to arc cosine. There's arc cosine. And then push enter. So that's how you get arc, co arc cosine or inverse cosine. Now we want a fraction. So uh, down here, you got a this button right next to the book looks like a, I don't know what it looks like, absolute value and fraction kind of. So when you choose that, pops up with this. And our first one in the far left, this one right here, is our fraction. So that's one we want. If it's not already highlighted, then use your arrow keys to go over to it and, and highlight it. And then push enter. And that'll put a fraction there. And my particular problem, I'm putting in five and then cosine. Well, to get to the cosine, you go back to your book. That's your library. So I click that. And we want to go down to our cosine. Um, where's cosine? eventually get there. There's cosine. <coughs> so I'm going to choose cosine and then push enter. And I'm going to do 30. So 30 degrees. And then I down arrow. And um, I'm putting in 7. And uh, that's how you would put in uh, inverse cosine or arc cosine of 5 cosine 30 degrees divided by 7. And enter. And let me double check that against my other calculator. Yeah, 51. Yep, yeah, that's correct. Now, the rest of it, if you want to learn how to um, do the law of cosines, law of sines, uh, you can go over to mathheels.com uh, and go to class information, go to trig, and, and see that. Uh, but anyway, that's how you use your TI Inspire to put in um, inverse cosine and cosine and how to change it to degree mode.